do you want every presentation you make from now and for years, maybe until you die, to look more professional, to actually help people to learn better and to better communicate what you're trying to do? There's one simple thing that you can do that totally makes people stand out, one presenter stand out from another. Every time I go to a conference and I watch different presenters present, I just am appalled and astounded that so many don't know about this thing. It's very simple. It's PowerPoint animations. Or, hey, while we're at it, it's Google Slide animation. How about if I just show you how to do both of these? Okay, so let's do a quick demo. Let me get my screen going here the way I want it to be. And okay, here we go. So here's the way most it works for most people. They put up a title and here's five bullet points and they talk about them all. And one of the reasons why people hate PowerPoint and they talk about death by PowerPoint is this very problem. When there is so much information on the screen, your brain wants to read everything on the screen, wants to process everything on the screen. Consider the difference between this slide and this slide. The problem with many webinars is they don't try to solve a specific problem. The problem that they teach isn't something people really want solved. It's not compelling. Can you see what I'm doing? This is called a build slide. I'm clicking my space bar to move from one to the next. What it does is it means that only the content that's being talked about at the moment stays on the screen. Well, the previous content stays on it also, which is really nice if someone's taking notes and they haven't finished taking notes on the last point before you go on to the next point. Well, those words are still on their screen. So much more powerful. And all the data says using a build slide is beats using a non-build slide where all the points were on the screen every day. Okay, let me show you something else. So your mission is to identify one to three important challenges. Okay, consider that slide versus this. Your mission is to, can you see the difference? Can you see how it just feels so much more professional? Can you see how it actually improves your cognition, your ability to grasp information from this and to learn? All right. So this is, that's the principle to create build slides. Let me show you how you go about doing this. So here's what we do. You click into, you, you create it. And then you click into the text and what I like to do, well, you can just click into the text and then come up here to animations, click animations, and then click an animation. I'll tell you most of these. So you don't want to be using color pulse. You don't want to be using shapes and wheels. And I don't even know why they put this trash in here. It's useless. The only one that I have found good is either appear or fade. Fade is my favorite. So my recommendation is you set up fade. And I like to set the duration at 0.5 seconds. Right over here, duration 0.5 seconds. So that means it comes in very fast. And then notice this. It says one, then two, then three, then four, then five. What that means is that point number two, point number one doesn't come up until I hit my space bar or until I hit my return key. And then, and what that is, is let me just show you over here. 
This is called the animation pane. You have to usually have to click it to make that visible. So when you're on animations up here, you come to animation pane and you click this. And what you do is right now, see, it says start on click. Most, much of the time, the first time you do this, it's going to be set for this, start after previous. And so what will happen is when you actually do it, let me just show you what this thing looks like. It puts them all up on the screen way fast. That's not what you want. So what you, what you do is you simply click it and you click and you do start on click and notice how all these numbers go one, two, three, four, five. So that's how you do it. It's literally that easy. Now down here, your mission. So this is this is one box. This is another box. See how it's got a little box around it. In this second box. All I have to do is come up here, click animations and click fade. And now what that does, and you may want to just double check. Yep. It's on start on click. And so that makes it so that it shows up your mission and then you click the space bar and it shows up the rest of it. It's literally that easy, that fast. Do you want to learn an advanced trick? Okay. Go here to view, go to slide master, go find the slide that does your builds, your, your bullet points. And then in this one, do what we just did. Click on animations, click on fade, make sure it shows duration and make sure it shows start on click. And what that does is every time you do a build, uh, uh, a slide like this that has multiple bullet points, it's automatically going to put the animations in. You won't have to go set them for every slide. They'll just be there. It's way cool. Okay, you get that? It's literally that easy to do it. So now let's do this. Let's go over to Google Drive and I'll show you this Google Slides and I'll show you this on Google Slides. Okay, so give me just a second. All right, so I just built these same slides. I didn't worry about fonts or anything else like that. I just want to show you how you do it. Okay, so same slides. All you have to do is simply click on it, right click, animate. Alternative version is insert animation. What that does is it comes in here and it puts in an animation, but what it does right now is that animation is going to be the problem with many webinars. And then the, when you hit click, when you hit your space bar, all five of these bullet points are going to come on, come in. And so what you need to do is click by paragraph. And as you do that, now it will make it so, and let me just show you this. You, you can test it anytime by clicking play. And so what that does is it shows you and now, See how they're all coming in one at a time? And now I can click stop to make that go away. Let me just take away paragraph and click play. And so then the problem with many mirror. And so notice how everything comes in all at once. That's the reason why we do this by paragraph. And so it's just fade in on click by paragraph. It's literally that easy. And it's done. Let's go on to the next one. So I click this. I can now that the motion is already this little side pane is already open. I can now just click add animation and there it is. I don't have to click by paragraph because there's only one paragraph here, but I can test it by clicking play your mission to identify one to three important challenges. Okay, there you go. That's how you do it. It's literally that easy. All right. So you learned something today. And the cool thing is, especially if you go back to what I showed you on PowerPoint and you, and you use it in your actual slide setup, what it means is it takes you almost no time to create this effect. It will be there every time you do a slide using that template from now on, and you'll become a better teacher 
you'll look more like a pro. People will love you. They will throw money at you. Maybe not, but hey, every little bit helps when you're trying to build a business, doesn't it? All right, so I didn't show you how to do images and boxes, and I'll show you that some other time. I just wanted to show you this one tip because this one tip, if you just do this part, you'll be head, and he head over heels better than most everybody that you're competing with in your industry. I don't understand why it's not the default. I don't understand why they would ever design it without this. Why anyone would ever put create a presentation that is that by design doesn't communicate as well. But maybe it's just to allow us to come across as more professional than everybody else around. So let me know your thoughts. Are you using this? Was this valuable to you? What other questions do you have? How else may I help you? This is Don Crowther saying, just go do this stuff. Mm -hmm.